Yo, 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 what's good, everybody? It's your boy JTL, opposite from the north, back with another one. Before I get started, man, make sure y'all subscribe. Go ahead and show your boy some love and subscribe, all right? So, we seen that uh, Brittany Renner has a problem with the word submissive. So, I'm going to play what she said first, and then I'm going to go to the young lady that she was mad that said it. So, <laughs> let's just go ahead and deal with that real quick first. It's painfully obvious why men love the idea of a submissive woman. Submissive, per its definition, is ready to conform to the authority or will of others. <laughs> the prefix sub means under. Think of subpar, submarine. In short, your world is under his. Now there seems to be a theme here. Good girls versus bad girls. A lock that can be opened with many keys is a broken lock. And if you can't submit to a man, you're gonna die alone. So my question to men is, do you want perfect Polly, a puppet, a prisoner, or a partner who has no problem overtly challenging you? King treatment and knowing your partner's love languages, that's one thing. Being submissive is a whole nother thing. It's its own thing. So if you find yourself abandoning your wants, needs, desires to make something work, I'm here to tell you, it was never a match to begin with. It's painful. All right, let me deal with what uh, Miss Tatiana herself said. This is the funny thing with females like her. If you want to be out there thotting around, that's your business. If you don't want to be in a successful relationship, that's your business. But at the end of the day, is it really gonna benefit you because right now she, she she says she's she's 30 she's 30 years old now and the sad part about it is what we're trying to tell these young women you're giving up all your best years to be in the streets and then when it's time for you to settle down you still think you're supposed to have the same options that you had when you was 22 23 years old she got a baby now so by the time she gets 40 she's gonna think she can still settle down matter of fact give you a perfect example her and Superhead. She wants to be like Corinne Stephens. She thinks that's the perfect example of somebody that she should be like. That's your business. But when you look at Corinne Stephens' situation, she has three failed marriages. I think she may have two kids now. I'm not, if I'm not mistaken, she may have two. She may still just have one, but she may have two. Now she's back talking about slut shaming is a bad thing but she did it herself before and matter of fact at the end of the video i'm gonna have the video there for you to go ahead and check it out where she was slut shaming women her damn self but still women like this just because they have the options now they think they will forever have those options she said give up all your hopes and all your dreams to go ahead and give it to a man she can't do that and i remember when she was talking to kevin guy rest so she was saying that she wants a man that'd be okay for her still twerking which when she was interviewed by Cam Newton, she was talking about she want a man like Russell Wilson. Sierra still gets the twerk. Sierra still, she's 36 years old. She still looks good for her age. But what I'm noticing about Sierra, guess what? Sierra, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, she's still trying to compete with the young girls. She's married, happy home, great husband, but she's still out here slinging that ass. Now, if y'all go back, Ashley, I'm old enough to remember. So a lot of people may not be old enough to remember. But when Sierra was first coming out, not saying she didn't do no pop locking, a little something that was a little sexy, but Sierra wasn't really twerking. You may have seen other videos where she was doing certain dances that y'all might try to say that. No, that wasn't no bend over and just pop your ass dancing. She was actually dancing, dancing. Now she's just twerking her ass off with everybody else. She'll do a challenge, she go to twerking her ass there. So she got a problem with submission, Brittany Renner. She don't want to submit to a guy. She want to be able to do what she wants to do. But at the same time, she still wants a guy to take care of her. She don't want to date down. She don't want to date a guy that has less money than her. She told Cam, oh, I've tried that before. No, you were dating regular guys when you didn't have no freaking money. Once you became famous, you wasn't dating regular guys. You wasn't even making money like that just yet. So you're thinking that they're regular guys because you were starting to do stupid ass interviews and things and getting known on Instagram. 
But guess what? You're not going to have those options forever. The wall is coming for you. All right. So let's go ahead and let me show you the video that triggered this off what everybody has a problem with. And I'm, I'm going to keep it real on some certain things. Oh, and before I go real quick, follow my cursor. See the cursor right over this thought nose? Boop. All right. Lewis said, B. Simone, talk, Brit. And B. Simone, wonder why she ain't going to never have no man. All right. So let's go ahead and go to the other video. All right. So this is the video that people have a problem with about a week about a, almost about a week ago now all right so let's see what she was saying why so many females especially britney ran through is upset about when you genuinely care about someone's rest and you care about if they eat i think that that's just i don't feel like it gets more submissive than that where it's like you're taking yourself out of it but like as far as like see how she said taking yourself out of it a lot of females have a problem when they hear the word submissive and they're like well why we got to make it all about him what about me and the sad thing about it is you see so many women out here nowadays running around trying to be like men a lot of them have penis envy that's what the fembot movement is about it's it's, it's it's essentially penis envy but so many women have a problem with that and then but they still want the guy to do the protecting and providing but they don't want to do their part they try to make the excuse of oh well i'm doing everything he's doing nothing wait he's providing a roof over your head taking care of the family putting money in your pocket making sure you're good everything's taken care of for you anything you can think of that you need even your wants and desires but at the same time they have a problem with that and they think no he's supposed to do that anyway because i'm a woman the closest love i think of having a child is like the love i feel for my partner and it's scary for me to think that it'll change once I have the child. So now that's that's something she said. Something key right there. A lot of women don't they don't think about that really. You know what I'm saying? Like especially females of today, they they just can't imagine putting a man before anything. They feel scared of them because they're like I have to give up acting like a little teenager. Like the the thoughtism is 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 strong in this generation, especially more now than ever. They listen to these females. They're talking about women empowerment, but I mean, they in relationships. Why be in a relationship? Just be, just be single. Now I say they in a relationship with a man. Let them do what they want to do. But what about the guy? And then I notice most of the time the guys that get to do what they want to do while letting their women do what they want to do, usually ain't trustworthy dudes. I'm, I'm sorry, to, I got, I just got to put it out there. If you want to bring up Jay Z and Beyonce and how she able to do whatever she want, but then he cheated on her. I'm telling you, some men be allowing certain shit so they can do what they want to do because they feel like they're getting their manhood back by cheating. Some dudes feel like, oh, I got to still be that dude. And they don't pay attention to what they want men to do, and so they let them out there. But when a man really cares about his woman, he wants to make sure he keeps her under his protection. Point blank period. So in your romantic partnership, mm -hmm. you baby, you are a servant to, yeah. you are a lover, you want to be a step ahead. Why are you laughing? These because are your it sounds insane. <laughs> Cause I know it is my words, but it yeah. sounds crazy. What's going on? Now, so I'm gonna stop that video there. So she and uh you as you you see the name right here. So y'all go check y'all go check out the video. Matter of fact, I'm gonna uh I'll go ahead and put the full video in the description, the full clip. Um see for her to say that and a lot of women feel that same way. They're they're afraid of giving up so much freedom and wanna do all this and that for a man. But we're in a society nowadays that teach women to be very, very selfish. But they want the man to be selfless. And we got to have to do a video on that about how men really were back in the days. They did everything they were supposed to do, but so did their women. So did the wives. And if you want the same treatment from a man, then you have to give the treatment that women back then gave to men. If you're not willing to do that and you want to be by yourself, cool, that's fine. You ain't got to do none of that. Just like somebody being confident, right? They say, oh, they, they show confidence. It just is. It, it just is what it is. It seems like that person is just confident. They're not, you know, beating on their chest, yelling, oh, I'm confident. That's why I do. I'm confident. That's why I do. Just like a dude not running around saying, I'm a real one. I'm a real one. You ain't got to. People going to see it. Where you carry yourself. You ain't got to say all that. You ain't got to do all that chest beating and all that bravado talking. People just going to see it. But the sad thing, back to what I was saying with women, Sadly enough, they just 
Nowadays with the fan bot movement, they're teaching them to be selfish and they didn't want men to punk out, but men back in the days didn't do that. They took her home and everything, and they try to do this whole mister from off damn color purple and all that. He was just running, I mean, Hoppo, like, just around here beating on everybody and all. No, that's not the case. Not every man in general is around here beating on women like that. Because you know why? We had a community of men that they did a great job of getting rid of, where we barely have any these days, that they call those men out. Now we're at a point where women don't call out the bad behavior and they're scared to it's going against the cold. Who who side you on? And then they want to make jokes talking about KS was gay. But y'all don't find it weird the way women keep wanting you to be by yourself. They would rather you be by yourself because they're miserable. They want company within their misery. Y'all don't find that kind of suspect? I'm talking about men, KS kept telling people, men, hey, we do what we got to do. Get a woman. You know, get married and, and not wasting time finding the woman we want, settling down, lock up. You know what I'm saying? Wife up. Well, y'all gonna take it as lock it up. They did that to Kevin. But lock her down. You know what I'm saying? And then when he started saying the same thing to women about being ready for that great dude, they don't wanna hear that. So you tell me who is wanna be on some weirdness. <laughs> All right? It's your boy JT, opposite from the norm. Make sure y'all subscribe. Definitely, definitely make sure y'all check out the JVJ Network. Make sure y'all go over there and subscribe. Definitely make sure you subscribe to my boy. Let's talk with JVJ. All right? So check us out, man. We doing things all the time. You know we ain't playing around. We working, mate. All right? Chill.